Hi there. Now, if you watched part A and B of this particular question, you'd know that we were given this differential equation here, x dy dx plus 2y equals 4x squared, and asked to solve it. And we came up with this solution here, y equals x squared plus 4 over x squared, given particular boundary conditions. Now for the next part, C part 1, we're asked to find the exact values of the coordinates of the turning points of the curve with equation y equals f of x, making your method clear. And then in part 2, go on to sketch the curve with equation y equals f of x, showing the coordinates of the turning points. And that's for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video, and as usual, when you come back, if you want to fast forward just to check out the final answer, do so. Otherwise, I'll take you slowly through the method. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, for stationary points, for turning points, we know that the gradient given by dy by dx would have to equal 0. So, going to go into this equation and just say, therefore, that when dy by dx equals 0, what are we going to get? Well, we're therefore going to have x times 0, OK, x times 0, plus 2y equals 4x squared. Well, this is 0, leaving us with 2y equals 4x squared. And if I divide both sides by 2, y equals 2x squared. And I'm going to call this equation 1 here. And then I'm going to sub this into equation 1 so we can solve it for x. So just say here, sub in equation 1. And if we do that, we've got... 2x squared, OK, in place of the y there, equals x squared plus 4 over x squared. And if I subtract x squared from both sides, 2x squared minus x squared just gives us x squared, leaving us with 4 over x squared here. And it follows from this that if I multiply both sides by x squared, I've got x to the power 4 equals 4. So to get x, all I need to do now is just do the fourth root of both sides. So therefore, x will be equal to the fourth root of 4. Don't forget it would be plus or minus. I could leave it like that, or I could say that x equals plus or minus, and the fourth root then of 4 would be root 2. I prefer that answer. It seems to be in its simplest form, in my opinion. So now that I've got this, I can substitute this now back into 1 to get what y is. So if I substitute, let's just say there, sub in 1, and it doesn't matter whether I take plus or minus root 2 because I'm going to be squaring it here. So I'll always get a positive value. So it means then that y will be equal to 2 if I square x. And then it will be plus 4 over 2. And clearly this is 2 plus 2, which is 4. So therefore, we've got turning points. Just put that down here, turning points at the points with coordinates where x equals minus root 2 and y equals 4. And we've got another turning point at root 2 and then y equals 4. Now with these turning points in part 2, we're asked to sketch the curve with equation y equals f of x, then showing the coordinates of the turning points. So what's this graph going to look like? Well, f of x then equaling x squared plus 4 over x squared. I can see that for any values of x, 
because we're squaring this term and we're squaring the x squared here, we're adding together two positive terms. So y is always going to be positive. So therefore, all I need to consider is something along these kind of lines. So if we have our x-axis there and our y-axis there, the origin, then I can see that when x is very small, let's say close to zero from the positive side, this is going to be positive. This is going to be a huge positive value. This is virtually zero. So we're going to have the curve approaching the y-axis from the right. And the same applies when x is close to zero but negative. We're going to get a very huge positive value. So the y-axis then is an asymptote. As x increases, this term decreases, but this term starts to increase. So we're going to have the curve looking something like this, coming down and then going back up. And because of the symmetry of this, the same is going to apply when x is negative. We're going to have a reflection of the curve in the y-axis. So you're going to get it looking like that. And we've got our two turning points, this point here, this point here and the coordinates then of those two turning points are going to be minus root 2, 4 and on this side root 2, 4. Okay.